that's round two now with you, isn't it? Don't worry, I'm not here. Uh, 
spare rods in the storage before using. Use the spare rods in the storage. Wait, wait, wait. Study rooms, study rooms. Okay, study rooms. Uh, good. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, study rooms. Okay, that's where we were before. So we need to go back up here. Okay, I already checked that study room. There's another study room right here. Oh, guest room. Oh, we'll check the guest room. I need some stuff anyway. Oh, God. I can't believe I ran into that thing. Son of a... Ugh. That was just horrendous. See the sexy legs, though? That is sexy legs. Insanity is like. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, more. Uh, let's go to tab. Let's get some oil in here. We gotta fix him up. He is just hurting for certain right now. There we go. He'll be better. He'll be better, Daniel. Let him know. Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Okay, Herbert. It is okay. It is okay, my friend. Oh, God. Oh, oh a crowbar. Nice. Oh crap. Does that mean I'm supposed to go back down there? I don't want to. They said the study. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. Very interesting. What is that? Oh, sheets. Can I sleep? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Don't like Alexander talking me in bed. It's not very nice. Oh wait, third drawer? Oh, uh, Daniel better now. Is he better? He's better now. Oh, more tinder. I got so much. Jesus. It's awesome. 
Uh, huh. There's a third one somewhere. Oh, there's a door. Oh my god. Oh, what's up here? What is this? Oh, what the hell? Ew. Disgusting. Frickin' disgusting. Stuffing animals. The door is stuck due to a broken lock. Okay. Well, let's use my frickin' crowbar. Use. Yeah. Are you? The key. Please let it be here. Uh, key. The key. The magical key. And a note. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Hmm. Very interesting indeed, my friends. Is there anything else in here? Fuck! Oh, come on, mouse, don't fail me now. Which one is it? Okay. 